Hey, hey guys, guys and, and welcome, welcome to, to Vlogmas Day 4. Good morning guys. So I'm starting the vlog off. I just ended yesterday's vlog. I wanted to add a segment in there about my skincare routine and I wanted to film it in the daytime so that it was like brighter and nicer. So anyways, that was all I needed you for if you want to go back upstairs. Go back to work. <laughs> just needed you to start the just vlog. Needed you to say hi we to haven't you. had our advent calendar. We didn't have it yesterday. You want to have it? I'm going to edit yesterday's vlog or the end of yesterday's vlog. We have to get a Christmas tree today. So if we can't find a grand fur, we're going to have to get a different kind. Yeah. I'm really, grand for I feel like it's not gonna happen this year. My sister, she got a Christmas tree and she sent me a picture. She's like, I think I got a grand fur because she got her tree from the place where we always used to get our trees from. And that's where I used to buy the grand furs. So I'm like very familiar with them. And then she sends me a picture and I was like, no, that's a Douglas fur. And she's like, how do you know the difference? And I was like, well, you, it's so easy to see. Like the branches are different. The shape is yeah, different. Yeah, so easy. <laughs> it's like, crazy is, that you already know what a Christmas tree or what a tree looks like. I'm the one who always did the decorating in my home so i am very familiar with the type of tree that i use okay, and go <laughs> well we have to open three too uh, first two no we already opened two. Oh, we did that's why Four. i can't find it wow i'm just like oh crap beating really you killing it I can't open it it's like you get into the box way faster than me i got it i know because like first. when it comes to you and chocolate <laughs> <laughs> you might not so find this spot, but you, as soon as you do, there's no stopping you. My box looks perfect. It's like completely smooth. Then you look at his, it's like broken, broken. But yours has other issues. Look, it's because of how you treated it so far. It's falling apart. I can do that. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys my go-to everyday makeup routine look. In Vlogmas Day 2, I did a little montage of me getting ready and putting my makeup on, and I thought maybe that was gonna be enough that you guys wouldn't wanna see any more than that. Everyone asked about my makeup in that video, and then probably maybe in the next couple days, I will also do like a more Christmassy look. So it's a little bit later now, and you guys, the clouds have parted. It was raining earlier. We're gonna be getting our train a little bit, and I'm so happy we're not gonna be walking around in the rain again. So I'm gonna do my makeup now, and I'm gonna show you guys what I do. So I'm gonna try to be fast. So I might not do the best job of my makeup, but we have to leave really quickly, so I don't have much time to actually do my makeup. So lately, I've been starting off with my foundation. Actually, no, sorry. I start off with my moisturizer. This is a really great moisturizer for underneath makeup because it dries matte and there's like no oils but what it does is it locks the moisture in your skin it's the glaxal base moisturizing formula i feel like this camera is so bad at focusing so this is the moisturizer i use non-greasy hypoallergenic i would like to find a petroleum free version of this so if you guys know anything that's for like super sensitive skin please let me know. I change this up occasionally. Sometimes I will do my brows first and sometimes I'll do my foundation first. Lately, I've been doing my foundation first. So the foundation I'm using is the Peach Perfect from Too Faced. I love this foundation. I only have two issues with it. First of all, I find the fragrance a little strong. It smells very strongly of peaches, like artificial peaches, which I don't mind, but if it was just a little bit more subtle would be nice. And then the other thing I don't love is I can't really apply it around my eyes because it's very drying. It's a long wear foundation. This one lasts me all day. It says it's 14 hour wear, it's oil free and it's oil controlling. But I think because it's oil controlling, when I use it around my eyes, it makes my eyes feel super dried out. So it's great for like T-zones though. And I typically use Armani Luminous Silk in the winter, but I've been really loving this foundation because it lasts so long and I don't even have to set it. Oh, did I say what shade I'm in? I'm in the shade Golden Beige. I'm really pale right now. So for my eyes, I actually just use some of the Luminous Silk foundation on a MAC, I think this is the 222 brush. And I like this because it's like a hydrating foundation. It doesn't make you feel dried out. And I like this as a base for my eyeshadow to stick to. And now I'm gonna do my eyebrows, I think. I honestly dread doing my eyebrows the most. So sometimes I like to take care of them early on and then it feels like it's downhill from there. 
So I always use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. And Kylie Jenner taught me a new trick. She did a makeup tutorial not that long ago on YouTube. So she said what she does is she brushes her eyebrows up, fills them in from the bottom, and then brushes them down and fills them in from the top. And I honestly love this because sometimes I feel like my own eyebrow hairs kind of get in the way and then make me do a bad job of my eyebrows. I really should have chosen somewhere else to do my makeup. I'm totally side lit. This is all like blown out and this side's all shadowy. I'm committed now. I don't wanna to have to move everything. <laughs> I feel like I look like I have Botoxy brows right now. I don't know why. Well, they don't look great, but they've looked worse, so I'm okay with it. So then I like to go along the top and bottom with some concealer. I lost my Clay de Poe concealer and I'm honestly so sad about it, but it was the best concealer to use for carving out my eyebrows. So I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape, which I don't recommend for this, but I don't have another concealer that will work. So I go along the bottom with a MAC 208 brush. I love this brush for cleaning up eyebrows because it's so stiff and angled. And then top. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 1.58 p.m. And I ran out of brow gel. So lately I've just been using some setting spray and spraying the end, the spoolie end of my, my brow pencil and just going through my brows to kind of stick them in place. For my eyes, I take a MAC 224 brush, which looks like this. It's just a fluffy blending brush. And I use this color down here of my Tartlet In Bloom palette. It's kind of clear which one I've been using a lot. And I literally just use this color. Sometimes I'll mix this color in um, and do like a mix of both of these if I want more of like a brown look. But most of the time I just use this pink shade. It's so simple. It's such a fast look, but I like that you guys think it looks like it takes me some effort because it's so easy. So then I take a MAC 217 brush and take the same color and go all the way, all the way, and go all the way underneath. And the next part I do out of order so you'd think I would do my highlighter on the middle of my eye first because it's still part of the eyeshadow, but I don't. I go right into my mascara. And the reason why is because I make a mess with my mascara. I usually get it all over my eyelids. So I like to remove that and it's a lot easier to remove from the drier eyeshadow rather than my like highlighter. I'm gonna curl my lashes. This is the Kevin O'Quan Lash Curler. I talk about this all the time. I love it. It's from Nordstrom. I think I only had one pad that came with this one and it's lasted me for years. I used to have to replace my Shu Umura lash curlers all the time. I think it's a little bit pricier than the Shu Umura one. It's so worth it. And also the Shu Umura ones don't open very wide. So if you have longer eyes like I do, then it's harder to get your lashes in them. This one opens really far, which I love. So I can get my whole eyeball in there. For my mascara, I start off with the Lancome Primer. Love this stuff. And then my mascara, you guys know I've been using the same kind forever. This is actually a new one. I like the new packaging, it's very simple. So it's the Lancome Hypnos Beauty Guru. My eyelashes are sucking right now, so I have to use a primer. Every year in the summer, my eyelashes grow like weeds. I think it might be something to do with the vitamin D or maybe it's just like my natural lash cycle or maybe both, but my eyelashes grow like crazy and they look insane every single summer. Sometimes they'll like touch my eyebrows. I don't know what it is. I don't even use castor oil in the summer because I already know they're gonna grow crazy. So they grow, 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 grow. And then in the fall, usually like October or sometimes even late September, they'll just completely fall out. I'll have so few left and they look so sparse and so thin and then they grow back and usually by December, like mid-December, they're good again. This year they fell out later in October than they normally do, so they're not good yet. They're coming back though. They're just not there fully. There is something about a lash cycle where your eyelashes grow and then fall out like twice a year, but it's only in the summer that my eyelashes get really, really long. Sebastian so says I should wear this primer out as regular mascara because he thinks it looks so cool and so wintry. And I was like, um, it's fashion. I look crazy like this. Also, it doesn't stay looking white. I love this primer so much. It's the best. 
I zoomed in enough for you guys. I don't want to zoom in too far because I'm sitting in the worst lighting right now. My skin looks crappy from the lighting. I hate sad lighting. It just like creates so many shadows. I'm going to continue on with the rest of my face and then go back to my eyes after. For my blush, I'm using this NARS blush in Sin with this Buxom blush brush. I don't know if they still make these, but I love this blush brush. And this is my all-time favorite blush. It's just like a mauve pink. And I apply it on my cheeks and then bring it up onto my temples. And then, now I'm going to apply my highlighter. So for my highlighter, I'm using the Oh Darling Extra Dimension Skin Finish from MAC. And I'm applying it to my cheekbones with this 225 brush, which has seen better days. I love really glowy skin. I also apply it to my nose, just in the middle. This lighting is so bad. And then I also apply it to my cupid's bow. So now I'm going to take a Q-tip. These are my favorite Q-tips. I've probably talked about them before, but they're the Muji Thin Stem Cotton Buds. They look like this. But what's great is they're super thin. So they're great for removing mascara from your top lash line and they're not super cottony so they don't get stuck in your lashes which i love these are my favorites so i think this next step is the reason you guys even like my makeup and it's the thing i do that kind of pulls everything together it is taking my mac highlighter and a wet brush so i just use some of this all-nighter spray from urban decay and spray my brush and then you can see this little corner i take my brush i go into that corner so you can see it's kind of like a paint almost. And then I apply it to the middle of my eyelid and it goes on almost like a paint too. I love it. Watch me just do a crappy job now that I'm like filming it. And then I go in the corners. It gives you the most foiled pretty look ever. You could probably do this with any highlighter. And then I also go underneath my lower lash line, just a little bit, right under where your iris is like if you're looking straight on. But then, and a lot of people are probably gonna be like, why are you doing this? Don't do this, you're gonna ruin your lashes. But I've been doing it for like a month straight and my lashes are okay. They're not great, but I don't think this is making them any worse. So I'm gonna take my eyelash curler. People are cringy and I can feel it. And I'm just going to go back over my eyelashes and then just pump a couple times, like twice. My eyelashes always like fall down. They lose a curl really fast. Yeah, I gotta go. Now for lips, I do the same thing I've been doing forever. So I use the MAC Oak Lip Liner. So for my lipstick, I've been using this one from Too Faced. This is the Send Nudes lipstick, which is kind of like a beigey, pinky, brownie nude. It's more of a flesh tone nude. If you don't like nude lipsticks, you're gonna hate this. But this has been replacing my Makeup Forever 22 lipstick, which or number 22 lipstick, which I am obsessed with, but they discontinued. So I only reserve that one for special occasions. But I apply this with a lip brush. This is the MAC, I think this is a 231. So this is the makeup you guys see me wearing in 90% or 99% of my vlogs or if I take a picture. If you see me wearing makeup, it is probably this look. I need to fix my hair because it's like looking funny right here. But And yeah, this is how I get my glowy look. And it also, you can do it really fast. It doesn't take very long at all, but kind of looks like you put some effort in. I usually do this in the car. So we're en route. It's nice out. I feel like, I hope this is a sign. We're here. I'm nervous. I hope they have them. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I wonder if they have them at all the lots. I feel like we should check the other lot too. Because they might Let's get better ones first. there. This one doesn't seem like it's a big of a lot. They got more, but I don't know if they've got any big ones. They don't have big ones. They have bigger ones, but not massive ones. That's not that big. No? No. Do you think the other farm got them too? Yeah, but I can't tell you. I just want to sleep in here, cuddle them all. <laughs> I feel like I didn't even remember how good they smelled because there weren't enough of them to smell before. <laughs> that one's like a nice shape for a little one. So near the little one? Yeah, but I'm not going to get that. Like, I'm taller than that probably. Well, almost. 16 vlogs later, I finally got my tree. <laughs> the chronicles of buying a grand fur. 
Oh my goodness. This one might be the one. We need to get it wrapped, I think. Okay. Can, can you guys help us wrapping the tree? Wrap, yeah. not wrapping. Finally, yeah. grabbing a tree. No, not the, tree, not right? the biggest tree, but it's a beautiful tree. Look at that. Look who's doing yeah, look the, who's doing look the tree. Who's doing all the difficult stuff here. You go, girl. I think she's good. Awesome. All right. Good job. Thanks. I'll take you with me again next year. I just got home. I just realized I haven't even eaten today. I've been go, 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 go. So having some of this Christmas crack, I'm obsessed with it. Sebastian's bringing in the tree now. little update it is much later now I posted yesterday's vlog that vlog went up super late I was without internet for pretty much the entire afternoon because we were grabbing the tree and then we were coming back we got the tree it is so much smaller than what we usually get we usually try to fill out this entire corner up until the ceiling this is very voluminous it's very big but it's not that tall I honestly don't know how I'm gonna fit all my decorations on this tree, but it smells heavenly in here. I'm tempted to go get another tree, maybe similar size to this, and then just nix that tree or put that tree somewhere else so I could have two real trees in here, just because I love the smell so much. Sebastian's going to flock the tree. He's very unhappy about this. He hates it every year. I know it's extra, but I just love how Christmassy it looks when it's flocked because we don't get snow in Vancouver, really. We do occasionally, but like a centimeter a year, I swear it's so little. But I really wanna have this looking like it just came out of a wintry forest somewhere. So I just completely tore apart my pantry looking for something to make for dinner and realized we absolutely have no groceries right now. So we ordered pizza, I think from Domino's. I'm actually not sure where we got it from, but that's gonna be on its way soon. I don't know why I keep doing this with the tree. If I could, I would just like sleep right next to this because it smells so I'm good. Petting the tree. I'm petting the tree. Every time I do that, the aroma comes out. <laughs> I was saying, I kind of almost want to like get rid of that tree, get two smaller real trees and just flock two trees. <laughs> I knew your reaction would be like that. <laughs> What? I really want the smell. Whoa. I feel like the smell is going to be gone so soon. This is so small. Right. So the other day, I'm going to say that the tree flocking stuff is really bad for your health. That sucks. Yeah. Apparently, the glue stuff together in your lungs and um, causes really bad um, diseases. Really? That's really unfortunate for you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, I'm gonna end the vlog for the night. I'm gonna spend the rest of the night editing. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Uh, let me know if you guys have any recommendations for who I should watch during Vlogmas. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next vlog. Bye guys. Merry Christmas.